And that's why they don't use the, uh, the banking anymore. quite quick um, yeah a lot of video editing and stuff but welcome to alternative Italian Grand Prix very quickly you can see where we're racing what if Formula 1 still used the old Monza Oval uh, we are going to be Oscar Piastri in the Triple Clown Triple Clown Triple Crown McLaren livery uh, because McLaren had their 60th birthday Going through here with DRS is actually terrifying. Just have to hold it. So, this thing, there's Parabolica. So that's where the pit lane is. And then this is where the current start line is. So it sort of has moved. And the rest of the track... Probably doesn't need a probably doesn't need to break. Um, second chicane is just a light corner. Right, Lesmos are the same. Well, same other than there's a big barrier around the outside. This whole part of the track is the same. Scurry is just a flat left hander. This is going to be a very, very fast race. It's actually a 10 kilometer circuit, is Old Monza. But it's a really quick track. And of course, Parabolica. Oh, sorry. Um, Curve Alboreto. Whatever they call it. Alboreto. So. Cool. I'm gonna just fine-tune the setup. It's, it's a very simple circuit, so I think I'm just gonna stick in practice, fine-tune the setup, see where and if there are any overtaking opportunities, and see in quality. Actually, can we go three wide? Um, okay, I passed them both easily there. Oh, it's bumpy though. So as long as you don't touch the curb, you can do Curva Grande flat. And that's why they don't use the, uh, the banking anymore. So I haven't been able to put a good lap in. So what I learned during practice is this isn't the start finish line. The start finish line is where it normally is on the sort of on the main straight. So we actually get a run up from the pits round the oval, then you start the lap. So that's that's useful. Let's you go into the let you go into the lap flat out. So foot flat to the floor. I've increased the tire pressures. I've minimised all the drag on the wings. Got the skinniest rear wing I can. Let's go. I'm gonna pass Mick Schumacher over there. Coming up to the Haas. This is going to be tricky because we're passing him out. Mm. 
Yeah, that was never going to end well. I should have lifted off. That was, like, entirely my fault. I still have DRS open for all that. Okay, next lap. Here we go. So, attempt number two. See the cars going off around the banking. It's so awesome seeing it. Right, Cover Grande, no Hastrick in front of us. Cover Grande is flat with DRS open. Grab DRS open pretty much the whole track. The only bit you can't and you have to break break for is Lismo 1 and 2. Open DRS again. And next time I'll need to break will be Parabolica. And then I won't have to break until the first Lesmo again. There's only three braking points on this track. Three. Three times that you have to press the brake. So here's the next one. Round Parabolica. Open DRS as early as you can. There's an Alpha Tauri passing an Aston Martin, and I'm going to pass them both. So cool. Right. Whoa. The motion seat doesn't really do banked corners too well. It makes you feel more like you're on a motorbike. But we'll try and get a slipstream from this Red Bull. We're going to try and go around the outside of the Red Bull. Just got to hold your line. You got to hold your foot and hold your line. One wrong move, whoop, you're up and over. And across the line, Schumacher fastest. We are faster than Schumacher by four seconds. Schumacher is in a Mercedes, by the way. It's drivers with their reserve. It's teams with their reserve drivers. So you got Hamilton, Schumacher. Here we go. So we're just waiting for everyone to come back around. I am four seconds ahead of everybody else. Uh, of Verstappen, Ricardo, Norris, Giovinazzi, Schumacher, Aiken, Drogovic, Leclerc, Hamilton, Alonso, Albon, Gasly, Martins, uh, Fittipaldi, De Vries. Zenoda, Porsche, Bottas, Madison. Just wait for the rest of the finish and then uh, we'll be on the grid. Here we are for the start of the alternative Italian Grand Prix at Old Monza. Bit of a weird camera angle looking that way. There's a start line. Oh, coming in, another weird camera angle. Um, yeah, oh, we're actually in the starters box. That's quite a cool camera angle. Although it's angled, that's looking that's looking straight. So yeah, we have Oscar Piastri in the Triple Crown McLaren uh, on pole. Uh, you have Max Verstappen in the Miami Livery Red Bull in second, and Antonio Giovinazzi, is it not? It is Antonio Giovinazzi, the Le Mans winner in the uh, Ferrari. Then you've got Daniel Ricciardo in the Red Bull, Lando Norris in the Chrome and McLaren. Yeah, three by two, by three by two, etc., etc. Uh, times. What is everyone else on? Everyone else is on C3. Make sure it's all fine. So, time for the alternative Italian Grand Prix. Lights out and away we go at Old Monza. Verstappen and... And uh, Giovinazzi get a better start. Or oh, well, we got the run on them. I can't quite get past them at the moment. If you're hearing me clearer as well now, it's I didn't realise that the actual um, speakers on the headset were blaring out. So... Apologies if you couldn't hear me during uh, practice and quality. So, 
Oh, oh, I'm in, I'm in the wall. So is Stappen. Keep my eyes behind me. Cool. Gaining nicely on Giovinazzi in the Ferrari. Break for Parabolica. Do I get my DRS open before they do? And now we follow them round the very bumpy. I'm clear of the Ferrari. And I'm clear of the Red Bull. Easy, actually. <laughs> it's nine laps of this. If I'm still pulling away massively, I might give myself a little stop-go penalty just to uh, keep it interesting. Yo, let's do it. Let's do it now. Coming to the end of lap one. Uh, you there, I want a new set of C3s. Thank you very much. So we are now last behind Bottas. Makes it a bit more entertaining. Uh, to get through the whole whole pack. So inside of Bottas. Nice and easy past the Alfa Romeo. Slipstream with the other Alfa Romeo through a chair. Side. Oh, that was risky. So that alpha is to freeze. Because unfortunately, the with the mods I've got anyway, the reserve driver for um, for Alpha Tauri is Daniel Ricardo. But I've already put Daniel in the Red Bull. I guess I could put Sergio back in there. But. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh, I got hit by Haas! This is the problem, the AI can't stop. So I got hit by everyone apart from Bottas who's there on my outside. Formula 1 problems, we don't have spotters. So, uh, then we've got to start again, almost died. This is why we don't use the, the banking. That's Hulkenberg and Defries in one move. Now we've got Fittipaldi in the other house. We're on lap five already, apparently. Gone by quick. I've got fastest lap, so I just need to try and catch up to the rest. Five seconds behind Gasly, and the rest are all like within a second of each other. Once I, once I start catching them getting the slipstream, I should be good. I learned my lesson from the Haas, I'm going high. The drivers go run wide so I can now pass the Williams of Alban. Cool, then I've got Leclerc and the two Mercs ahead. 
lock up someone. One of the Max. Schumacher, then Leclerc, then Hamilton. Djokovic. Bye bye, Mick. God, how many of these am I passing on the bank? Thankfully, not passing them on the banking, which left closes his DRS. Pass Hamilton. Comes to Djokovic and Yesti Martin. Pass Jack Aiken. And now we're up to our teammate, two laps to go. Pass Lando, top four. We've got Ricardo, Giovinazzi and Verstappen. Top as well, including the cloud crash with the pass. We've sort of timed this quite well. So I think we're gonna catch Perez, hopefully on the run down to the Parabolica. Hopefully we catch them before the Parabolica, if not it's definitely after the Parabolica. He's so close to Giovinazzi. I said um, Perez, didn't I? No, I meant Ricardo. Oh. We're going to be three wide into... Oh! Not a good move from the Red Bull, I'm going to pass Ricardo. Excuse me buddy. Get that slipstream from that Ferrari. Pull out, right. Verstappen. Oh, gotta hold it though. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. It can, it can still let go, it can still all be over. little bit. I want the outside. It's more stable. There we go. We are past Verstappen. We're going from last to first. It's seven laps. There's Bottas. It's quite cool. I uh, like, yeah, I kept saying that during practice. Uh, that's cool seeing it like that. Yeah. This is, um, I mean, I could still lose it, but it'd just be a slipstream fest for, um, for F1. The only corners you need to worry about would be uh, these ones, but we've seen a couple of the big crashes of why they still don't use the the banking. But if, if they made it smoother, because it's quite bumpy, as you can as you can see, it's still quite bumpy. If they made it smoother, like it is currently, or like the back corner is his angle, then it could be alright. It should be a question of if it's too tight. Um, because if if the if a banked corner is too too banked and too fast, um, drivers can genuinely lose consciousness because it's pushing all it's pushing you down, so all the blood's rushing from your head. Um, that's why IndyCar don't race at Daytona or um, I think Texas Motor Speedway because they're just too fast. Like, because it would be pushing you in while you go around the corner. And it causes blood loss, so you actually get vertical G. G. You get G on the Y axis. And as we chase up to the Alfatari, Oscar Piastri wins the Italian Grand Prix. Yeah. So we saw the result. Felipe Lodovic doing well in fifth. Ooh, a triple uh, British lineup there of Lando, Jack, and Lewis. And the, the French not doing so well. Top 13. 14th.
very easy track, um, particularly compared to some of the others that I've done. Um, very, very easy track. Would get quite boring after a while, and I imagine this as, as a spectator sport, not particularly fun. Be interesting to see how it would work with like the current layout. So the chicane, at, no, the first chicane down the pit straight, and the second chicane, uh, and the Esco chicane. It'd be interesting to see how that works, but then have the then have the oval. That'd be interesting with the modern version. So you got modern Monza with the oval. That would be really interesting. Yeah. Apologies for the for this and the previous video being so late. Um, really busy with work. So um, yeah. Thanks for thanks for watching and see you in the see you in the next video. Bye bye.